How does the FDA decide that a new drug is more effective than an existing drug? How does Google use search terms to decide that the flu season is starting? How confident should a politician be in their latest poll numbers? These are the types of questions you can answer using the tools of data analysis and statistical inference. If you would like to find out more, you've come to the right place. My name is Mina Chetinkaya Rundell, and I'm a faculty member at Duke University. I'm here to show you that data can change your life and that anyone and everyone needs to know how to be data curious, how to access data, and how to analyze data. If you think about it, you're generating endless amounts of data every minute. For example, you just clicked on the play button on this video, and somewhere in a database, there's a record of you doing that. One might infer using this data point that you're interested in the content of this course, and hence that you might also be interested in a statistics book or some new data analysis software. In this course, you'll get to see many more examples like this, which I hope will help you acquire an awareness and appreciation of the data around you. It's predicted that there will be many job opportunities in this area. The main goal of the course is to introduce you to the discipline of statistics as a science of understanding and analyzing data and making data-based decisions. This course is designed to be a starting point for learning to think critically about data, as well as an introduction to fundamental concepts in statistics. We will learn about all aspects of data analysis, from data collection, to exploratory data analysis through meaningful visualizations, to statistical methods that give rise to quantitative information that allow us to evaluate data-based claims, to reporting these decisions in a clear and concise way that can be digested by statisticians and non-statisticians alike. As well as touching on some of the traditional methods covered in many introductory statistics courses, we will also learn about modern and versatile methods such as simulation-based inference and Bayesian inference. Another critical aspect of modern statistics, as you can imagine, is computation. In this course, you will get a chance to interact with real datasets using R and open source statistical programming language. In weekly labs, we will delve into answering questions like whether the hot hand phenomenon really exists in basketball, whether students rate faculty members they perceive to be attractive more or less highly, and how we can build a simple model for filtering spam email. In addition to the datasets that I will provide, you will also get to work on a data analysis project on a dataset of your own choosing. As we go through the computation component of the course, we will also emphasize the importance of a sometimes overlooked concept, reproducibility, and we will learn about best practices for reproducible data analysis. This course is intended for anyone with an interest in data analysis and statistics and requires no background in statistics. For those of you for whom this will be the only statistics course that you take, this course will change the way you think about data and even how you read newspaper articles. For those of you who go on to take further statistics and data analysis courses, this course will provide you with a solid framework of concepts and computation. Either way, I think you will very much enjoy the course. So please join me and the data analysis and statistical inference team at Duke University as we delve into this topic. I look forward to interacting with you online soon.